it's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Blake Wordsworth. Jenny and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Story maker. Story maker. Story makers. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? Sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello, story makers. I'm Blake, Blake Wordsworth, with a magical hat and a nose for a story. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello, story makers. <laughs> Look at these big boxes. The librarian left them here today. Yeah. Oh, but we don't know what they're for, do we, Jack? No. Oh, no, there's a piece of paper with some writing on it. It oh. says, please do not touch. <gasps> Jackson, <gasps> they must be really dangerous if we're not allowed to touch <gasps> them. <gasps> Oh, Hello, oh, my fluffy oh, friend. Blake, 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 look. These boxes uh, are really, really dangerous. Dangerous. Blake. Yes, look, look. Mm. It says, please do not touch. Hmm, mm, intriguing. Yes. But there's something else written on the other side. Oh. For charity shop. Oh. Yeah. These boxes are to go to a charity shop. <laughs> oh. What's that? Cherry tree shop. Hmm. I don't know. What is it? A charity shop, my pea green princess, is a place where people take all sorts of things they don't want anymore, so they can be sold to other people that might find them useful. Oh. Oh. Um, I, I, I would love to see what uh, people are giving away. Would, wouldn't you, Blake? Yes, yes, please, Blake. Mm. Can we? Well, I don't suppose it'll do any harm. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Let's look it? inside. Oh. 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 Lots of arty bits and pieces. Oh, yes, but these things are still useful. To whom? Uh, to us, of course. Yes. Yeah. Silly me. Let's yeah. take a closer look. Oh, Jelly, we could do a painting. <laughs> Blake, could you pass me a piece of that paper, please? Mm, certainly, Jack. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this bit's all gloopy and sloppy. Ooh. I think the paint spilt all over the paper. Oh, a gloopy, sloppy picture. Oh, I like making that. <laughs> well, maybe it'll make a good story. Oh, oh, yes, Blake. Let's go and put it in the story machine. I'm sure it'll make a gloopy, sloppy story. Yes. <laughs> One gloopy mess for the story machine. We'll need lots of imagination to make a messy story. Here we go. Hope it doesn't make the machine too dirty. <laughs> Will you help imagine? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Well, what's it going to be? I don't know. It's happening. Oh, it's, it's a, a playbook. <laughs> and it's called Making Glue. <laughs> My name's Minnie, and this is Louie. Today we're going to make something nice and gooey. Ready, steady, go. This will be a laugh. Let's make a mucky, gloopy bar. We get some aprons, put them on, roll up our sleeves so they're not too long. Put newspaper down all around. We don't want to drip glue all over the ground. Then we get a tray and add corn flour. 
Looks like we're in a flower shower. Shake it, pour it in the tray. We're having so much fun today. Water, water, pour it in. This stops the mixture being too thin. Mix it with a wooden spoon. Not long now, it'll be ready soon. We get the paint and start to squeeze. It's not enough. Some more paint, please. We squirt and squeeze and drip it in. Now the real mess can begin. Our hands go in and squelch about. We move them, wriggle them and pull them out. It oozes and squelches around and around and makes a really gloopy sound. It feels quite soft and very runny. Even Mum thinks it's funny. It's cold and wet and really gooey. They made lots of gooey mess in that story, didn't yes. they? Uh, we've made mm. a bit of a mess here mm. with the clothes. Yeah, lots mm. of clothes. Lots mm. of clothes. Mm. I think Blake is going to be a bit cross, oh, Jackson. Well, he said it wouldn't hurt to see mm. what was in the box, but maybe we should tidy up. Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm. oh, we could we could play a matching up game while we tidy up. Oh yes. yes. Uh, would you like to play a matching up game? <laughs> right, yes. let's find something to match. Uh, okay. Here is, uh, it's a purple fleecy hat. Okay, put that there. What goes with a purple fleecy hat? Um, uh, mm, 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 what's that? What? That's purple and fleecy. Oh, purple, yeah. It's uh, a purple fleecy scarf. scarf. That's yeah. right, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. It's a nice long scarf. Yes. Did you get that? Did. <laughs> right. Okay. What's uh, next? Uh, next. Oh, Pick something. Yeah. Look at this. It's a nice soft pyjama top. So we need a nice soft pyjama bottom to go... Oh, there's in front of you! Oh, right, it's right here! Yes. Okay. <laughs> You're That's the bestest soft. at this game, Jelly! <laughs> wow, okay. yeah. Um, what's next? Mm. Oh. oh, this might be a difficult one. I think we need your help with this. Well, what is it? Um, I think it's a helmet. Might oh. be a space helmet. Uh, <laughs> Spaceman Jackson to Jenny! <laughs> uh, yeah, mm. the Jackson, a space helmet doesn't match up with anything. Not in the box, does it? No, um, yeah. oh, it could match with a space story. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Get ready to imagine a space story. Over! <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. Here it comes. Oh, it's a Kevin the Spaceman story. And it's called Planet Pong. <laughs> Kevin and Spanner, in space to explore, seeking out planets never heard of before. The air smelled terrible on this new planet. Oh dear, said Kevin, sniffing. Have we landed near a pile of rotting vegetables? The surface was covered in crunchy white powder, but it wasn't snow. Spanner sniffed the powder. It smelled soapy. This is a very strange planet, said Kevin. Agreed Spanner. He gave the ground a lick. Yuck! It was soap powder. I wouldn't lick anything if I were you, Spanner, warned Kevin. Let's go and explore. Soon, they met someone very strange. Uh, are you a pair of pants? asked Kevin. Yes, said the pants sadly. Spanner growled in disgust. So this was where the pong was coming from. A rather grubby pair of pants. Sorry about the pong, 
said the pan. But my friends and I haven't had a wash in ages. A t-shirt, a pair of trousers, some socks and a kilt joined the pants. Spanner whined as the smell got worse. Oh, you fellas really need a wash, said Kevin. Oh, we know, we know, said the socks. It's so embarrassing. Spanner spotted something nearby. He barked and ran towards it. It was a big blue box thing buried in the ground. In the centre was a window, and there was a big red switch on the side. Hmm, said Kevin. Maybe we can help you out. Spanner nudged at the side of the window, and it pinged open. This is a washing machine, said Kevin. All you need to do to get clean is jump inside. Oh, we always wondered what that was, said the pants. Come on, chaps, said the trousers. He jumped into the washing machine, and the rest of the dirty clothes followed. Kevin scooped up some of the soap powder from the ground and threw it into the machine. Spanner barked. He really hoped this plan would work. Kevin closed the door, and Spanner pushed the on button. The machine began to bubble and whir and spin. Eventually, it stopped. The door burst open and out jumped all the clothes. They were clean and sweet-smelling. Now you know what to do when you get dirty, said Kevin. Thank you. Chorus the clothes. Bark Spanner, pleased that the terrible Pong had gone away. Smells like Planet Pong, dear. Ooh, I wonder what's inside. Let's open it up. Oh, no, no, but we might get ponged out. Uh, not necessarily, my fluffy friends. Oh. I have just the thing in my head. <laughs> Blake's air freshener. Oh. You open. I'll spray. Yes, okay. Quickly, Blake. There we go. Quickly. <laughs> Oh, look, it's full of old shoes. Ah, yes, but which particular pair of shoes is the pongy pair? Mm. Uh, we'll have to perform my Blake Wordsworth sniffy test. Ah, right, let's yes. see what's inside. Mm. It could be that old pair of wellies. Mmm, mm, biscuity. But not bad. Oh. Next. Uh, okay. um, um. Well, maybe it could be that pair of old slippers, Blake. Maybe the smell's coming from there. Mm. Mm. Mm, cheesy, but horrible. Oh. Next. Yeah. Okay, uh, those muddy football boots. Yeah, I think it's definitely coming from them. Mm -hmm. mm, muddy, but not whiffy. Mm. Next. Oh, I really hope you find the pong soon, or we might all get ponged out. Oh, oh, mm. oh, I think you found them, Blake. These oh, old trainers, are yes. you sure? Mm, mm. Oh, yes! Oh. Oh. Pongy! Yes, <laughs> they've gone in the story mm. machine. Well, that's probably the best place for them. Yes. Yes. In the story machine. Yes. <laughs> Maybe they'll make a good story rather than just a pongy whiff. I think we're going to need lots of imagination for this story. Will you help us make a pongy story? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. What's it going to be? I'm not sure, Jelly. It's on its way. It's a blue cow story. It does sound pongy. It's called Blue Cow and the Skunk. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders. Wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was smelling the sweet perfume from the flowers in her field. I wonder what it would be like to smell something horrible. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a horrible smelling place, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. 
and they set off for some woods. Then they arrived. Blue Cow was surrounded by the tallest trees she'd ever seen. Suddenly, with a swishing and a swashing, a dashing creature appeared beside her. Greetings, fair maiden. I'm Zorino the Skunk. Za -za -za -za. How may I be of service? Oh, hello, Zorino. I'm Blue Cow, and I was trying to find a horrible smell. Oh, an unusual quest, uh, but I will help you, fair maiden. Follow me. They set off through the woods. Do you know where we'll find a horrible smell? Ah, no, but have no fear, Blue Cow. I'm sure something will turn up. Before long, a deer crossed their path. Halt! Za -za -za -za. I smell the smell of... Hi, Zerino. It's only me, Doris. Doris smelled nice and grassy, so Zerino let her pass. They walked on until a fox crossed their path. Halt! Za -za -za -za. I smell the smell of... Hi, Zerino. It's only me, Fergus. Fergus smelled nice and earthy, so Zerino let him pass. Uh, okay. They walked on even further in search of a horrible smell. Suddenly, Suddenly, a fierce bear oh. came lumbering out of the bushes. I smell the smell of lunch! Blue Cow began to shake. Fear not, fair maiden. Sereno did a handstand, leapt across to the bear, turned round, lifted his tail, and... Sereno oh. had saved them. But all around them was the most horrible smell Blue Cow had ever smelled. And it had come from Zerino the skunk. Zerino to the rescue again! <laughs> oh, um, thanks, Serino. I think it's probably time I was going. <laughs> You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a wood and been rescued by a skunk. Everyone knows that cows can't be rescued by skunks. But we know they can, don't we? <laughs> Serino must be the smelliest thing in the world. Uh, no, he's not. Why not? Uh, because you are. <laughs> no, no, the smelliest thing in the world is the box of old shoes. Boo! Those trainers. Oh, yes. It was so funny when they went in the story machine. <laughs> okay, so who's going to help me tidy up before sunrise? Um, Cheers. he is. <laughs> Bye! Funny that, how there's no one around when it comes to tidying up time. Oh, well. <sighs> oh, fantastic cleaning, Blake. The sun is rising. The children will be here soon. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories. We bid you goodbye. Story makers, story makers. Thanks for helping us. Goodbye. See you next time, Storymakers. And remember, imagine.